Driven with Amanda DeVoe. Two fitness enthusiasts and childhood friends coming together to help empower the black community to live a healthy lifestyle. Today we find out why they're driven to not only improve their bodies, but their minds as well. Keep your palms up, elbows in. And squat down straight. There we go. He's strong. <laughs> Raise your hands out a little while. Grab with your palms facing you. For TJ McCord. Your chest straight to the ball. Fitness is part of his DNA. I've been training, I've been uh, performing as far as sports performance and uh, for the last, you know, basically since I was eight years old. After playing football in high school, college, and some time in the pros, he focused on life after football. But that's one thing football does teach you, you know, it teach you personally. Right. You put your toes right here on the line and you just lean back. And that's right. when he got into personal training, also teaching classes while helping people reach their fitness goals and gain peace of mind. It was a hobby, it was something to do. Uh, outside of you know what I was doing uh, as a regular job, but then it became where this is what I wanted to pursue full time, and so um, I stepped out on faith. This is an advanced pole push-up. Ayla Goodson, you're gonna bend your arms down. Was also a student athlete and quit her day job in Houston to focus on her passion of pole fitness here at home in Mobile. I was working as an accountant, a revenue accountant, and. I just was not fulfilled in my job. I just felt like there was more to life than me going to work, going home. That passion became her purpose, teaching women of all backgrounds to be better in tune with their bodies. And a diverse group of women, white, black, Asian, Hispanic. I have doctors, lawyers, teachers. Um, it's across the board, just a diverse community of people that, that come to the studio. So these two friends got together in 2017 to help the black community on their fitness journey. Ayla remembers that first conversation with TJ about the business venture. Well, I'm opening this studio. You can do fitness classes. Um, you know, let's just make it like a one-stop shop. Five years later, with more clientele, business is even better. It's almost as if you really can't say one brand without the other. We cross promote and it, it really works. He's a really good person to be in business with. I always say I don't think I would be in business with anybody else. They both say the road to being entrepreneurs hasn't always been easy. But it's already difficult to be a business owner, but to be a black business owner um, is challenging. You, you learn so much about yourself when you deal with the challenges you come up against. There's gonna be some uh, long nights and some early mornings and the days, you know, we'll be long. But if it's something that you really wanna do and you have a real purpose for what you wanna do as far as why you're doing it, who you're planning to serve, the money will come as long as you're doing it because you love it. They hope their stories motivate other aspiring business owners. I think when you're aligned with your purpose, Everything just falls in place how it's supposed to. With photojournalist Arnell Hamilton, I'm Amanda DeVoe, WKRG News 5.